I'm Rick Bowles. I'm the principal at Riverview Pre-K-8, and I have the pleasure of having Caleb Howard here with me today, um, having our first student in the building. And so we're going to have a great opportunity to see that a little bit and to, to go on a construction tour soon. Caleb, you've been a part of Riverview before it was called Riverview. So tell us a little bit about some of your experiences in this process. I had the opportunity to uh, be involved in the design committee, the naming committee, and the mascot committee. You're actually standing in the building now after all this time. Are you excited about having the opportunity to get through and actually see all of your work come to fruition, all the things you've done? Yes. Do you feel like you've had a, a part throughout the process of helping to shape this school and now you get to see that? Yes. Awesome. So do you have any questions before we get out on the tour? What are the electives for next year or for middle school? That's a great question. One of the things we've been working hard on is hiring folks to, to be great teachers. Um, we've also been surveying all of our future middle school students to see what they're interested in. And over the next month, I'll be meeting with students that are coming into Riverview and kind of seeing what they're interested in, what their priorities are for electives. And then we'll be in the next couple months uh, seeing where, where those lie and which ones are gonna be the ones that are gonna fill up and, and we'll start there. I want to bring in Justin. Justin is actually gonna take you on a construction tour and show you all of the great things that are happening right now at Riverview. So Caleb, right here what you're looking at is this is your guys' new main gym. You've got two gyms there in the building. One is the auxiliary gym, it's over there, but this is your main gym. As you can see, it's almost finished right now. Um, you've got your basketball hoops here. You'll have scoreboards. Any questions? Uh, where are the bleachers going to go? So the bleachers are going to go along that wall right there. And we should have those in here probably in the next probably six or seven weeks. Uh, what is that big um, metal thing Yeah, at the top? so this opening that you have right here, you've got the railing that's up there now, but you've got a stage that's up there. So that'll be where you guys will have some of your performances will be right up there. Um, We'll be putting the striping down here on the lines that are around there and the logos that you guys worked on a little while ago. You'll have a big logo that'll be right there in the center. Okay? Mm -hmm. Why don't we go back through and walk through the rest of the building? Okay. Okay, Caleb, so as you come through here, this whole wall we'll have a mural that's gonna start from the raptor view. As it comes across, we'll go down to the tree levels and then we'll go down to the little microscopic level all the way down at the floor that you helped design when you designed those logos. So you'll see that all the way across here. As we walk over here, down along this floor here, we're gonna have a bunch of polished concrete. It's gonna create a mountain scene as it goes all the way down here. And one of the things that we did really cool up here, this is called our fruit loop ceiling. So you can see we picked out different colors all throughout here and we'll label those all individually and those will always be there for you guys as students to look at. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Bright colors. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, what's the yellow pipe? So the yellow pipe is the domestic, is the hot water pipe. Mm -hmm. The blue pipe is the cold water pipe. Mm Caleb, now we're in an eighth grade room. This is where you'll be. Um, you can see in these rooms, we've painted a bunch of bright colors in here. You've got blue over on this side. Each one of these classrooms has a big nano wall. They're meant, and you can open up these doors and they'll slide all the way open. Uh, and then that allows you guys some flexibility and some creativity. So this is how it works. What's that on the wall? So right up there on the wall is your clock. On the bottom, you'll have the analog clock, and then on the top, you'll have the speakers. Why don't you follow me, and we'll go out to the rest of the building. So Caleb, right here, right now, we're in the Learning Center. Obviously, you can see you've got the stairs that are over there. Down across over these stairs, we'll have the same wood flooring that you had in the gym. You'll have that all the way down there. A little stage performance area right down there for you. Uh, and again, you've got all of the colored glass that we put in all the way around the building that you've seen everywhere else. Back when you first came out here, our crane 
was sitting out over here, and this is the main area that we stood to be able to stand the majority of the structural steel that you see to be able to hold everything up, was right from that placement right out there. Uh, what is that room over there? So that room over there is actually the media center. So on that side there, you'll see we'll have a bunch of the wood paneling. You'll have a bunch of railings that'll go down there and then stairs all the way down through. Okay, so now we're gonna walk back out when we get past those lockers there. We'll go ahead and stop and you can kind of get down and you can kind of mess with some of the, the bottom ones here. We've got paper that's wrapped over here so you can't touch the top ones, but you can touch the bottom ones, okay? All right. Okay, Caleb, this is it. We've gone through, we've toured the entire school. Thanks for taking the time to come see it with us. Before we go, right over there in that box, we're gonna put a time capsule together. So that way, 50, 60, 100 years from now, you guys will be able to come right back there and we'll have a whole bunch of stuff that we did right now for your building, okay? Thanks for coming, have a great day. Hi, I'm Tammy Knauer, Bond Director for the Thompson School District. Thank you for joining us on the tour of Riverview Pre-K-8. I want to thank Justin Sprouse with FCI for guiding Caleb Howard through the school. Caleb is our first student to be in this building and he will be a seventh grader next year. Also thank you Rick Bowles for your time during the interview with Caleb. We appreciate the community's support. If you have any questions about the bond, feel free to go to our website tsdbond.org and email any questions you have about the bond and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks again for your support.